equanimity or lack of equanimity is not a question of what we are doing, it's about how we are. How much control do we have on our own thought process, our emotion, our chemistry, our energies, to what extent is this human mechanism in your hands? It's like this. See, let's say you don't know how to ride a bicycle. You just sat on a bicycle which was on a stand and you were just pedaling for fun. But it came off the stand and started going. Anxiety or no? Hmm? It started going fast. Fear or no? Started going very fast. Terror or no? Yes. But if you know how to ride the bicycle, faster it goes, fun, isn't it? The same thing with this, all my life I risk my life for nothing, not for the country, simply for the fun of it. <laughs> Every day I risk my life for something because otherwise I can't live without danger, this is my problem. <laughs> I have to do something where I'm on the edge. <laughs> so a whole lot of people are doing adventure sports, why? Because the more you take it to the edge, there is more fun in it. The question is, are you equanimous to enjoy it or are, we, are you going to freak? So once you have taken up to a soldier's profession, I think we should equip them to have an equanimity where they don't suffer this on a daily basis. After all, they are human beings, there will be issues within them. But bringing equanimity to the minds of our soldiers and officers is very, very important. India being so steeped in this knowledge, of how to maintain your interiority. If our soldiers don't get it, I am very pained. It's very, very important that our forces should know how to be meditative. I'm repeatedly going back to this, it is in the war field that the greatest teachings happened in this country because it was needed most there. But in this country, we are still doing the British march like this, doom, doom, doom. We have not brought Indianness to our forces. It's time we start doing this, if not entirely changing it overnight, we have to bring dimensions that we know best in this country. The whole world is turning towards India for inner well-being. The United Nations has declared, uh, you know, International Yoga Day. Our Prime Minister is lying down on the street and doing yoga with common people. Never before such things have happened. But Still our forces are denied this, no, we must bring it to the access of our forces that our soldiers and our officers must have the best capability to manage their mind and their interiority. This ability must be given to our forces for the job that they're doing, which is crucial for the making of this nation.